Do you realize that your worrying can be killing you? Now, I don't say that to worry you even more. I say that because we all need to know that this is a serious addiction that we need to kick. And we've all heard the phrase, a healthy amount of worry. And we may worry because we learned it from our mothers or we learned it from our fathers. But worrying is never healthy. See, because when we worry, we trigger stress mechanisms inside of our brain, which trigger our body's fight or flight response. And our body starts to react the same way that it would if it were about to be attacked by an animal. And this in turn releases hormones into your body. And those hormones can cause a change in your blood chemistry, which can lead to a weak immune system, premature aging, sleep disorders, digestive disorders, short-term memory loss, panic attacks, heart attacks, and massive spikes in cortisol in the body. And high levels of cortisol in the body are directly associated with a dramatic increase in chances of cardiovascular disease and early death. So that healthy bit of worry could be the most unhealthy thing that we do. Now, I know what's happening. You may now be worrying about the fact that you worry and you might be getting mad at yourself because you know that you shouldn't be. So now you're worrying because you worry because you worry. And this is a vicious cycle that we need to learn to break. And it can be so addictive that we feel that it's impossible to break this habit. But that's all that it is, a habit. Now, we can both agree that worrying uses energy and we have a very finite amount of energy throughout each day. So energy wasted on worry is not spent on doing something productive or helping the world or even just being more present with your children when you should be. That worry is not only unhealthy for you, it's stealing you away from the only thing that you will ever have in this world and that is this present moment. Because what we worry about is never this present moment. No, we get so caught up in what might happen in the future. And a recent poll found out that no less than 85% of what people worry about doesn't even end up happening. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, see, I worry about things that are out of my control. What do I do about that? And if you think about that, it makes the worry even more absurd because there's literally nothing that you can do about it. So we have to learn to just let go. So what can be done to solve this habit of worry? Because nobody really wants to worry. It's kind of like smoking cigarettes. No one wants to smoke them. We know that they're bad for us. Everyone who smokes wants to quit, but quitting is hard to do. But what we need to learn to do is to change our lens of perception. And let me explain what I mean by this. See, our brain can only process 120 bits of information each second, which means that it's literally filtering out and ignoring trillions of bits of information. And if we're looking through a lens of worry, then all we're going to find are things that we can worry about. And we're filtering out all of the amazing and beautiful things in this world and the things that we can be grateful for. Our perception is what we select our brains to focus on. And doctors have found that the easiest way to solve worry is just to simply do this. If you're a massive worrier, give yourself 15 minutes each morning to worry. Write them down, worry about them, dwell on them, feel all of that worry inside of your body. But when that 15 minutes is up, you have to release the worry and take six deep conscious breaths and try to live the rest of your day through a lens of gratitude. And start by asking yourself, what can I be grateful for right now? You have food, water, shelter, clothing, probably a few people that love you. If nothing else, a heart that's still beating. Also, they found that talking with a friend and daily meditation are two things that massively reduce the amount of worry in your life. These things help change your lens of perception. What you're doing is you're shifting your focus from worry to gratitude. And the state of gratitude is a beautiful place to live. Because both of us want to live in a beautiful state of gratitude and out of a state of worry. And the best part about it is that we decide what state we live in. That is something that is completely 100% under our control. So 
Let's try it out right now. Let's shift your lens of perception. Let's move from a state of worry to a state of gratitude. And I'm gonna ask you this one question. What are you grateful for right now? Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved it, please do me a favor, hit that share button down below so that more people can see videos like this. And I really wanna know, what are you grateful for right now? Go ahead and put it down in the comments. I'll go ahead and check them and I can't wait to chat with you guys down in the comments about what we were all grateful for.